Well, in that case, welcome back. And today I'm with Apex Origin. I'm checking out Blue. one of his ships. And it looks pretty sweet. It's an old ship. He decided to spawn it in and show it to me. And I remember This thing actually predates any of my battle stars. Hmm. It it looks really nice, mate. It's got yeah, a lot thanks. of the, a lot of the features that you put on your battle stars are here in a like an early form. Especially like the tail end, you know, that detail there. Ah, I think. And also the uh, well, the my credits crystal. are firing on some items. Oh, nice. Let's have a look. Oh, they stopped. They're out of range. Getting a little show. Yeah, they're keeping their distance. Oh. I think he's making a run. CW died. Did he? Yes. Oh no, he's he probably had a son. Oh no. They're playing baseball, aren't they? Come on, I sent a little bit closer. Boom. <laughs> ah. I don't even know if I've got God mode on, to be honest. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to roll with it. Do you know what? Your time, your time is up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, yeah, this is an old ship where I was basically just testing out a few design features, like um, wiring to a small extent, use of glowstone and wedges, um, ambient lighting with glowstone. It was basically a test bed, as yeah. well as a test bed for underhanging and side-to-side -side hangers. It's basically an all-round support ship. It has sort of anti-fighter flat, gun, flat guns, uh, ship to ship main guns, and it carries a complement of, I think, five or six drones. Yeah, it can carry up to six drones. Nice. And um, eventually I decided, why don't I take an escort Cavette and make an escort cruiser, and that's where the Mercury came from. I was going to say, when I saw this, I thought it's like a mini Mercury. Yeah, well the Mercury is essentially a big version of this. What did you call this vessel? Um, Ceres. Ceres. Yeah, my ship naming system is uh, capital ships are named after big planets. And um... Whereas uh, non-capital ships like um, destroyers or corvettes or fighters, they get named after asteroids and dwarf planets and planetoids and the such. I'm starting to see what you mean by the wiring as well. Yeah, the wiring is not too good on this. It was basically my first attempt at it. Yeah, but you can see what you were going for. It's nice. Yeah. I quite like the industrial detail. As you can see, I've sort of like had it so it's actual wires that are bolted down into position. Yeah. And I'm just sort of coming out of the engines here. Do you want to show the insides to me? Whereabouts are they? Um, there's not really any insides. <laughs> if you come in through the um, thingamabobber, the Light pod, hold on, open the doors. There we go, they're all open. Watch out for the drone. There's a gravity block there beside the docking modules. And you just kind of go up those tubes and jump. Yes, I'm up. Dodgy. So, uh, yeah, that's that. This is a corridor that goes nowhere. <laughs> and then there's just the basic box that has the computers and the core. There it is. Nice skin, by the way. Thanks. Hold on, just to make this uh, PG-13, I'm going to turn around. 
<laughs> Look away! Looks away. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, there's a hole. Whoops, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh... When I said I was kidnapping you to look at your ship, I didn't realise we'd be going into dark, dank parts of it. Oh no, no, you're kidnapped. I blocked up the hole. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> I got a lucky. Solution on this skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> So yeah, that's my little Corvette. She's a beauty. Yeah, I'm quite proud of it. I like how it turned out. Well, well, thanks for bringing it by. No problem. And as always, I'm going to put the link up to Apex's channel. You want to go check out his other videos. And you can see more of uh, ships like this <clears throat> and much more. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.